Hi guys, welcome back to the Bravo rebuild. Um, I've made a couple of videos of um, like interior detailing where I took all the seats out and wet vaxed them and washed the floor um, and stuff like that. But the format and the software I've been using just seems to have deleted all my footage. So we've skipped a couple of, a couple of parts forward, um, which is not what I wanted to do, but you know, what are you going to do about it? Um, so basically updates with the Bravo is basically the, the whole front end's done. Brand new headlights, a new bonnet, new bumper, new fog lights, new front grille, which is a facelift front grille. Um, the wing managed to come out unscathed with just a bit of paint flake here. Um, the bonnet actually lines up really well. Um, you can see that it's a bit tight over in this corner here, so I'm going to replace the hinges with brand new hinges. Um, as you can see the difference in the shut lines. Um, yeah, so I replaced all of the front headlight bulbs with nice white bulbs, including the fog lights as well. Um, you can see the old bonnets here, you can see how it was all crinkled up in, on the edge and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty much 100% now. Um, the inside is looking like brand new as well. Um, after wet vaxing all of the seats and stuff, got rid of all the nasty stains out of them so they look all nice um i got some bravo floor mats they are a bit dirty from where i've been getting in and out car but they've got a hole in them there so um i'm gonna have to get some new floor mats but that's not too much of a big deal um the back seats also come out quite very nicely as well um you know hardly any marks i've washed all of the carpet all of the door cards um i haven't added any like dash shine or anything just yet just to try and you know keep the plastics looking all natural and fine um the last couple of bits that need to be done is obviously i need to get a new front number plate but i'm waiting for my v5 to come through first to get that um once that's here um i'll put that on the front and then it will go for its mot the mot is due in april but i want to get it done beforehand just you know make sure that the car's all right everything else seems mechanically fine um the only other things that i've done to the bravo is i've changed the key for a nice new red case with new buttons as the old key was a bit manky um, I've also customised the rear badge as well um, just made it like the Italian flag the greens for some reason flaked off a little bit um, but I'm going to make a video on how to split the badges apart on the front grille because I need to do the front one um, you know I've added my Bravo Enthusiast sticker and stuff like that um, so yeah it's really coming along nicely now um, just the last couple of things obviously other than the MOT as well is the recirculation flap that switches the air from outside to inside has just broken so now the car mists up very very quickly without the aircon on so that's another thing added to the list but other than that the car is brilliant um, it runs completely fine um, it had a smoking issue which I think I mentioned in one of my videos before um, I cleaned out all of the intercooler, all of the pipes, and it was still smoking, so I changed the, well not changed, but I cleaned out the oil segregator, and that seems to have fixed um, most of the smoking issues. Um, I'll just do a cold start now. So, whereas before there was like loads of smoke coming out the back, whereas now it's completely fine. So, more things ticked off the list. Um, but yeah, it runs absolutely solid. For I mean, it's got 136,659 miles on it. Um, and it runs so The only other thing is the heater controls, they don't light up unless I smack it a couple of times. And then sometimes they come back on, sometimes they don't. The one type, there you go. Come back on and off whenever they want. So probably just a loose connection within the bulbs but um other than that yeah the car is solid the only thing i need is wipers because they keep hitting each other of course they won't do it yeah they keep hitting each other when they go up so slowly but surely the bravo project is on the way i nearly forgot to show you the um the slam panel because obviously the slam panel we bent it back out um, so you can see the slam panel it's a bit flaked paint chip from where we had to hit it to bend it back out but um it's completely straight it completely lines up the plastic going along um the corner of the headlight down there is fine 
Um, the bars now line up because they've both been replaced with brand new, well I say brand new, used ones but straight ones at least. Um, obviously the bumpers being all redone and everything like that, the bonnets all brand new. Um, so yeah, it completely lines up fine. Um, the engine base still needs a good clean because it's absolutely filthy. Um, but yeah, the bonnet doesn't sit quite right because if I push it down, when I lift it up and you push the thing, you can see how it springs to the right. So, see that? It sort of goes to the right and it shudders. So, um, I'm going to have to sort of adjust the hinges. Well, I've got new hinges, so I'm going to replace the hinges and see how it comes out. Um, you can see how nice and white the headlight bulbs are. Um, they were a very, very cheap eBay set, but, um, you know, for £10... They are nice. They probably won't last super long. Um, the fog lights, you can't really tell how white they are because the insides are completely burnt out. But um, as for the actual headlights, you know, they look nice and white. Um, so yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. I'm not too sure what the next video is probably going to be. It's probably going to be about um, taking the front badge off to paint it to match the rear one. Um, so that's probably what my next video idea is. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks guys. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about with the misting up issue. That is how much mist. It's already starting on the side windows. Um, I've already got the heated rear window on anyway. But that is ridiculous. I mean, it's not even in recirculation. This button just doesn't do absolutely anything at all. So, even though it's off, it's still mists up a lot. So I have to put the air cool on to clear it or I have to leave the fan on the windscreen all the time to clear it or it just doesn't... Um, or it just doesn't clear, it just keeps misting up. Um, so I've got to remove the wipers and the shuttle panel to manually open the flap, because I'm not going to try and replace the whole heater box just so I can open and close it, I'm just going to leave it open to stop with the misting up, because this is <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, you can see where like the old taxes holder and stuff was and everything, it's just, ugh. But other than that, as I said, it's a completely solid car, just little minor things, really, but yeah.